Hey everyone, today on the channel we have the Axial SCX24 Power Wagon. We're going to be doing a comparison between a stock truck and modified. Three different challenges on the indoor course. I'm going to show you before and after. Also going to show you the weight and the balance from stock to modified. So we'll get it to the bench, show you what has been done to this, and then we'll get to the run footage. All right, here it is. Modified power wagon. So to start with, we still have the stock tires, Proline Super Swamp TSLs, but I have them mounted on Triel aluminum bead locks with brass inner rings. Get the hood open. Still have the stock ESC receiver, 2S battery. Did switch to a 050 size brushed motor. In the front, switch to an Enjora aluminum housing with brass knuckles, RC all wheel drive, brass diff cover, aluminum steering linkage, and a Reefs 99 micro servo. So far in the rear, we just changed the diff cover to a brass RC all wheel drive. Also put aluminum high clearance links front and rear and steel drive shafts. So all right, let's get this on the scale and see what it weighs. All right, let's get some baseline numbers for the power wagon. Got it on the four corner Sky RC scale. It does have the 2S battery in the truck. That's why I like to get mine balanced because we run them with the batteries in them. So right now, it's a total of 326 grams, 48% weight bias to the front, 52% to the rear. So the front is pretty light on these, but pretty well balanced side to side. All right, let's get some numbers for the modified truck with the 2S battery in it. Looks like we got it to up to 494 grams, 93.8, 52% forward bias, 48% rear, side to side, 50-50. All right, here we go, stock truck on the indoor course. Lift and tie it a little bit there. Good so far, not really going for time. But just seeing how smooth we can run. And I know it's been having some trouble on this obstacle. Alright, guys, first roll over on this obstacle. Let's see if we can get around it. There we go. Bumpers hung up. There we go. And up the ramp. Tried to set up these lines so they'd be a challenge for the stock truck. Alright, 
backed up. Try to get the front tire on that rock. And roll. Alright, let's try to get it to the end. Up on the foam course. Alright, now the modified truck. Seems, seems a lot more stable. Over the tires, no problem. First ramp, no problem. See if they can get over this bump where we flip the stock truck. All right, and it still flips it, so that's just not not for the power wagon. Let's see if we can get up this ramp. All right, still. Still looking for traction on this ramp. There we go. A little bit of speed, make it over the top. All right, we made it. Try to take the same line through here. Pretty easy over that. Definitely more stable over the rocks. Let's try to get this lined up. There we go, didn't flip. Let's come across, get it up onto the foam course. Let's see if we can make the hill this time. Made it. Alright, stock truck across the rock course. Doing pretty well. Lifting that front tire up. Got it. Alright, modified truck on the rock course. Definitely a lot more stable with that weight down low. Hung up on the front bumper. Little bumps. 
and we're over. All right, one more challenge for the stock truck. Let's see if we can get up this ramp. All right, one last try to get up this ramp. Hanging up a little bit on that back bumper. Just looking for traction. Challenge for the modified truck. Definitely a lot more stable. Still looking for traction. All right, made it. All right, guys, Power Wagon did pretty good. Definitely a lot more stable with all the brass parts and extra weight down low. I know on the foam obstacle, there's that one bump that tipped over the stock and modified truck. And it's just the stock length shocks. It just doesn't have the flex to get over it. It's just too much. Extra weight didn't help it up that first ramp. It was still definitely looking for traction, but made it anyway. Rest of the course, especially once we get onto the rocks, is that one spot where the stock truck tipped over. The modified truck stayed on its wheels. So that was definitely an improvement. And then once it got over to the foam course, stock truck wanted to tip backwards, tip over. Modified truck made it up. Across the rocks, definitely a lot more stable. And then the last challenge on the ramp, still looking for traction, definitely a lot more stable. Didn't want to flip over, still made it to the top a little bit easier. So, all right, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you for watching.